Brennan, what is this giant, terrifying tome we have in front of us? Let me tell you a story <laughs> about a little game called World of Warcraft. Yes. It was oh. a feeling. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it released in 2004. It wasn't the first MMO, the no. massively right. multiplayer online RPG. Mm -hmm. There had been several others before. Yeah. EverQuest like, was already huge. EverQuest was huge. Mm -hmm. Dark Age of Camelot, Astron's Call, mm -hmm. EVE Online. But uh, people always wonder, like, you know, this blew everything out of the water. Mm -hmm. And to this day, nothing has ever reached the heights that World of Warcraft has gone to. And I think that's that's kind of a two-parter. One is that it was the only, I think, online RPG at the time that had a huge franchise to build off of. Mm -hmm. mm. The Warcraft games were insanely popular. Yeah. And just the, the thought, all they had to say was, hey, you know that, that game you like? What if you could actually dive into that and explore it in like first person? Mm -hmm. And it was like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, just seeing like the, the the beta and the stress test, being able to go like, hey, there's like a, the tower I can build in Warcraft two. Hey, yeah. there's a town hall I build that thing in Warcraft three. And mm -hmm. like, they took such iconic places from their stories, from their games, and let you roam around and like solve quests on your own. So not only were you able to explore it with friends, you were able to explore it for the first time in a new perspective. And I really admire how they were able to kind of craft these places. And they all got to work. Like the entire continents of this world were realized. And some were always, some like, you know, were locked off and they would build them later. But yeah. like, you could start with, you know, your, your night elves up in like the night elf mm -hmm. land. You can mm -hmm. make a journey all the way down to where your friend who was a human and then you join up. And then there was also like, you know, the PvP. But I think that game, like, I don't know how to explain like how it hooked an entire generation of mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. People who were never on online RPGs suddenly wanted to play this game. They saw their friends playing, they saw their family playing, they're like, hey, I want to get into this too. And I think also, this is around the time that the internet was really coming into its own as a big popular mm -hmm. place and like, more social sites were coming up. There was like, you know, Zangas and live journals. And so Zangas? People, yeah, I had a Zanga. <laughs> we all that. had Zangas, you know what to be ashamed. <laughs> But it would become more social, and mm -hmm. then people started to realize, I can connect people across the world through this game. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you had people forming guilds and forming parties, and Liz was really good about having communities for that. They had like online forums, mm -hmm. you can see everybody on your server that you could play with, and then you could journey with people through dungeons, and like you could have these really serious moments with a bunch of strangers, and you would call them family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I had a, a crazy guild, and I had my real life friends in there. Mm -hmm. Our leader was a 16 year old who his voice cracked and tried to give orders. Oh, we all make fun of him. I love you, Soren. Um, <laughs> we had a crazy beatboxing guy, oh, yeah. a Vietnamese guy who didn't speak any English named Lovely Girl. Oh. He would only just work in emotes. Excellent. Yeah. It was just the, the, the crazy melting pot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everybody got along and everybody had a great time. And it was just something you can't replicate. Yeah. yeah, the number of people I know who met legitimate real friends, like, or and, and met people through this game and then ended up becoming actual friends or people that got into actual relationships through this people game. People got married. Yeah, it's yeah. insane. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it's, again, like, putting, like, this This was the game that had its own magazine. This game had its mm -hmm. own podcast. This game, like, this game mm -hmm. was and still remains a platform. And we're 11 years later and still we're there. still getting World of Warcraft expansions. We have, we've never gotten yep. a World of Warcraft 2. I mean, just at Gamescom, they now the something 11th expansion, something something crazy like Warcraft that. Warcraft 4 would be nice. Warcraft 4 would be nice, that's it, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of people are sort of wondering, like, can Blizzard ever go back to sort of, can the next Warcraft be anything but? It's, it's hard to think of it. I mean, like, part of the appeal of World of Warcraft was you were coming in right as Warcraft 3 left mm -hmm. off, mm -hmm. where you had these larger-than-life heroes and villains, and you were able to walk up and go like, hey, what's up, Thrall? Hey, what's up, King of Stormwind? And like you were able to take on these iconic bosses, and I think that was kind of after a couple of expansions, what kind of started the downfall, at least for for me, was wait, I'm just some random know nothing with like forty other random yahoos, mm -hmm. and we're gonna take down the Lich King. Yeah. <laughs> when did this happen in the story? Yeah. And I don't know if you can kind of climb away and say like, hey, Warcraft Four, uh, all that stuff that happened. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was well, a bad dream. Yeah. I really uh, think it is. It's almost like. Was happening with Star Wars: uh, The Old Republic is that they said people all wanted like Knights of the Republic three, but they said, well, uh, TOR is three, four, oh, five, six, and yeah, seven. Yeah. And so same thing with World of Warcraft. His first one, Vanilla WoW, is pretty much four, and then Burning Crusade five, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So we we kind of have gotten the next chapter in these stories. So I don't think they would ever go back. But what yeah. we have is so much. Is it's it is mind boggling and the level of detail just from the old game you click on an organ and he goes zug zug you know yeah. and stuff <laughs> like that it has its own brand of humor I mean a lot of other uh, RPGs at the time like they were all very serious like oh I gotta go on a quest and 
kill 10 rats. And Warcraft did that, but they also had these like really hilarious like in jokes and mm -hmm. nods to previous things, nods to like pop culture references mm -hmm. and nods to like other hilarious Dr. Like, Boom, one yeah. of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Had a uh, Harris Pilton Yes, that was yes. and she sold bags. It was yeah. great. <laughs> and, and and World of Warcraft is so universal that pop culture in turn will oh. reference it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, still, still. yeah, still. World of Warcraft is again, if we're if we're talking about how the DS was able to make it to mainstream, World of Warcraft has absolutely uh, crushed it as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, crazy that people are still millions of people are still playing this game well over a decade later.